The Well. Wisdom and insight for worship leaders and music teams all around the world. For details, email thewell at planetshakers.com. Hi, welcome to the well. Hey, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the well. Hi. 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 How's it going? Really great. Robbie. Robbie. We've all <laughs> wore on our black and whites today because we, uh, we feel like dressing up. We did. Do we? I don't know. Mm. You nah. felt like doing your hair? Yep. I had a haircut yeah. yesterday. It's quite it's quite short on the sides. Where'd you go? Really? Oh, I'm a barber. Great. Yep. Barber. Is his <laughs> name Robbie? No, his name's not Robbie, actually. Shout out to the Robbies of the world. Robbie! Um, well, hey, welcome to the well this week. Well, I we said are, that. We, yeah, but I'd like to say it again. <laughs> We are continuing the demo series. Now, so exciting, for those who are tuning in just to this episode, we've actually got some pre-episodes you need to watch first. Uh, okay. One where we talk about programming drums. The second one where we talk about doing bass. And then today we are talking about recording electric guitars. Hey. Wow. Right down my alley. Is it? Oh, yeah. And there's many ways you can do it. We're going to show you the way we do it for a demo. Um, but before we do that, let's talk about last weekend, hey? Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's do that. We had our Vision Sunday. Yeah, amazing. So exciting. It was great. We had the word of the Lord. We did. Russell declared it. It was. Do you want to hear it? Yes. Really? Double portion. Double portion. Oh, sorry, were you going to say that in a very loud voice? No, it's it with a very loud voice. You're okay, ready? You're Let's do it again. The moment. Pretend no one knows. And Russell's going to announce the vision. He did. Double portion. <laughs> Amazing. And also a year of Hold it, Hold discipleship it. and training. I like shaking. <laughs> and also a year where we are going to see a nation saved. PNG. That's true. Yes. Amazing. In August this year, we're taking a whole team over to PNG and doing a, a big, uh, just a massive um, <laughs> what is crusade. It? A massive thing. It's crusade is huge. probably the best word. Yeah. It's going to be huge. And we're going to do like things throughout the whole week's. Leading Weeks. up, um, yes, in, in schools. schools, universities. It's going to be amazing. Different towns, hospitals. Yes. Just, just be Jesus it's to everybody, and then it's all going to uh, lead up to a three-night crusade in one of their sports stadiums over it's there. It's going to be massive. So last time it was how many people were there? Was there like sixty thousand or something yeah. like that? But we're expecting way more. Yeah. So it's yeah. going to be amazing. So good. And yeah. we talked today in our crowd meeting about maybe capturing that, uh, doing a song over there and recording yeah. that to show the world what we're doing over there. It's discipling nations. That's what we're doing. It's huge. That's what the Bible says to do. But Vision Sunday this week was also the releasing and the rolling out of all our new look, our new stage look. And yeah. if you watched online, you might have noticed we we, we kind of went with the whole, because double portion, this times two thing, and uh, we were playing on the whole theme of mirrors. Yes. Because in a mirror, you, you see double. Mm. So, More than double. Do you? Yeah. If you angle it the right way. That's right. Mm. So multiplication. So we yes. so we put all of these mirrors on that. We made this cool stage set. Actually, it's really cool. If you haven't seen it, just jump on YouTube and check out our live um, service on a Sunday. Yeah, you, yes. can, you can watch. Please it on do Sunday. join us. Come and worship with us. Uh, yeah. But it was great, wasn't it? It was amazing. We so did a new, we did a new worship song that yeah. uh, Pastor BJ wrote here. Yeah, called. This is, this is our, our nation. nation. This is our nation. Yeah, or your nation. Your nation. This is your nation. Because it's yeah, God's Holy nation. Spirit. Yes. Yeah. It is our nation too. It's our nation, but it was more We're like declaring it as God's nation. His nation. Yeah. So that was good. Yes. And uh, anything else to say? No, it was an amazing weekend. It was weekend. a great weekend. Yeah, very powerful. powerful, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could feel like in the atmosphere such faith as people were really mm. receiving this declared word of the Lord. And that's what's going to happen. You know, it's not just a theme. God downloads what he wants to do. Mm. And those of us that agree in faith, we are going to experience double portions. That's Get right. Ready. Bam. So um, <laughs> we like to do something called From the Heart every week. We do. We do. Yeah. We like to share a little bit about what's going on. And this yes. time it's from me.
go, BJ. You got this. You got it, BJ. I got this. You got this. <laughs> I got this. So, I, uh, I've, been, I've been really stirred in my faith recently, and uh, uh, the Bible talks to us about vision. Mm. Where there's no vision, the people... They die perish. perish. They, they, they grow they, off for strength. They're goners. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and as I began to meditate on that a little bit, the Lord began to speak to me about, um, about hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. So mm. where people have no vision, they have no hope. Mm. Yes. And so just the power mm. of vision and, mm. and what that does in people, releasing faith, causing people to, to believe in God for stuff, to reach higher than they've ever reached before. And so yeah. I think this year we, we, you know, we've always been planet shakers, but we're sort of Redeclaring who we are. Yeah. This is us. This is our vision. This is where we're going. This yep. is where we want to go. This is what we believe God's calling us mm. to do. And uh, it's amazing how when we throw that out there, people have responded yes. by reaching up, believing God again mm. for amazing things. It's been great. That's so, so true. Yeah. That's me. Good job. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to week three of the demo series. This is the week we are doing electric guitars. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Now, what we're going to do um, today is we're going to go straight into the Pro Tools. So I've got my lead here, basically going into a DI, like we did with the bass guitar. Um, and we're going to use the virtual software in the computer to create the amp sound. So this is a great thing because we can record the guitar in basically raw and clean, and we can choose an amp later and mess with the sound later. Where if you record a guitar amp, then you're kind of stuck with that sound. Um, if you're doing an album and you really want that specific sound, then you know we would do that. We'd record a guitar amp and just have it perfect like that. But when we're doing demos, you know, you, you're still not necessarily, you haven't got the song 100% uh, locked in. So you want to give yourself options to mess with the sound later. So it, this is, it just has opened up a whole new realm of producing guitars, being able to do this. So what we're going to do, as you can see, I've got my guitar here. Um, we're going to create some tracks, first of all. So uh, we're going to create it after the bass track. Now I'm going to create, create two mono audio tracks to start with. And the reason for that is we're going to do guitar left. Like I, like I always say, it's very important to name everything. And guitar right. And what we're going to do is play the same rhythm part one take and then we're going to pan it left and then do another take and pan it right. And I'll show you why we do that in a second. Now I'm just going to choose my input here, which is the DI. Now let's see. Now you can hear that doesn't sound very good. It's just raw, straight in. I'm just going to drag the tuner across from the bass channel so we can check, check the tuning of it. Like I always say as well, make sure your guitars are perfectly in tune. So, there we have it. Now, what we're going to do is open up a plugin. Now, this is not a free plugin, uh, but you can uh, purchase this plugin, which I recommend you do if you want to do it, you know, take guitar seriously. So, this plugin is called Guitar Rig and it's created by Native Instruments. And basically, you can create any guitar sound you want with this plugin, which is pretty cool. It's not super expensive. Um, you can go to nativeinstruments.com to check it out. But here, what's great about it, you can just choose a style of sound you want and it kind of picks the amps for you, which is what I do a lot when I'm doing demos. So for this sort of sound uh, of this song, let me just quickly play it to you again, what we're uh, recording here. It's the chorus of Just One Touch. So it's pretty strong. We want a, a sound with a bit of grit, a bit of distortion on it. Uh, so we'll try a classic rock. Uh, actually, that might be too distorted. We'll try blues, even though it's not a blues song. Double click on it. And you can hear instantly it sounds like a guitar amp. Now, the, the great thing about this is we can just record with this sound now, but if we don't like it, we can change it to a different amp later. So let's, let's do that and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. Now, I'll just get the level right. All right, so I'm going to do one, uh, record one side of it and then we'll stop and have a listen. All right, here we go.
so there we have our first guitar track. Uh, let's have a quick listen and make sure we're happy with the sound. It's not bad, and you'll find that with some guitar sounds, they don't sound great by themselves, but in the mix, they work well, and, and vice versa. Some guitar sounds uh, sound great by themselves, but then don't work in the mix, so you've got to find the right balance. So now that we've got one side done, we're going to pan that to the left. Actually, what I'll do to show you what we're doing, we'll just mute that one, and we'll do, we'll, I want to do another take of the guitar. Um, we'll use the same sound, so I'm just going to copy that across. Now, what we're going to do is pretty much do the exact same thing, but because I'm not a computer myself, I'll probably play it a little bit different, just that's just human nature. But what's going to be cool is we're going to split them and put pan one to the left, one to the right, and it will give this great stereo image, big guitar sound. So I'm going to just pretty much play the same thing again, and uh, let's have a listen. Two, three. Always let your guitar ring out the whole way, just so you can do a nice fade out at the end. All right, now that we've got our two main guitar tracks, and in Planet Shakers we call guitar one rhythm and guitar two is the leads. So we've done our guitar one tracks. So if you listen to them both together, we'll solo them. It kind of it kind of sounds like one sound because I'm playing the same thing. But then, you know, if you're listening on headphones, you'll notice this the most because I'm about to pan them left and right. If you're just listening on your phone or a computer, you might not notice it as much. But I'm going to pan this guitar to the left and this one to the right. Now listen to what it does to the sound. See how much wider that makes it? makes it a lot bigger and fatter sound. So let's listen in the context with the mix. Now, listen to the difference. What I'll do is I'll mute one and put this one back in the center. So this is what it sounds like with just one guitar. So it still sounds good, but it doesn't sound big and, and open like we want it to sound. So back to with two guitars. Much better, that's exactly what we're after. Now that guitar sound, that was just the first one I jumped onto, but it seems to be working great. So we'll, we'll continue to use that. Now the next part of uh, recording electric guitars is our lead line, our guitar two part. So what I'm gonna do is create another uh, mono audio track because we're just you know recording one mono audio guitar. Make the input to DI. Now we're gonna open up the same plugin, but we're gonna use the stereo version of the plugin. So Guitar Rig 5, see how it says mono and stereo feature here. Because we're only going to do one of our uh, Guitar 2 tracks, like our lead guitar track. We're only going to do one. We're not going to do two. But I want it to be stereo with stereo effects on it. So in the same way, let's check out um, our styles. This category called Ambient is, you know, really cool. It does sounds like this. All those nice delays and stuff like that. Some of them are weird and some of them won't work for you, but some of them will. For this particular one, um, I think we'll go back to classic rock because we want this one to be quite, you know, quite a bit of a lead sound. Let's have a listen to this one. So we're in the QV. That's not bad, it's probably a little bit too distorted. Not 
not bad. We can try that and see what it sounds like, see if we're happy with that. Uh, the cool thing is with this plugin too, if you right click here and we go add component, uh, we can go add a delay if we want to. Uh, so delay man. Hear that delay there? If we drop down this little thing here, we can go sync delay. So now that will lock into the session tempo. So, so that's always a good thing to do. Um, now that's a mono delay, so it'd be good to hear it in stereo. So maybe we'll put a stereo delay on. Uh, this twin delay here. I'll turn the, this one off that we just put on. So now you can hear it's actually doing something stereo. Again, we're going to sync it to our tempo. Now it's a very quick delay, so we, ne we actually need to change that. Now the, the classic delay that you know a lot of worship bands and use, which was inspired really by the Edge from U2, uh, is putting a dotted eighth on the right. Uh, where is it? That's the dotted eighth. And on the left, just quarter notes. And it sounds like, where is the quarter? There it is. But, 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 gives it that feel. And that really gives it some nice uh, movement and rhythm to what you're playing. And so, and then again, there's left and right, it's a, it's a stereo delay. Like I said, the left side has got quarter notes and the right side has got dotted eighth notes. So it gives it that feel. So this is a great effect for guitar too. So what we're going to do is play a guitar two part in. Before we do that, it's always important to clean up your audio. So I, I need to uh, just apply some fades to the front and the end of what we just did on guitar one track. And obviously the bass, I forgot to do that last week. So now that's nice and clean. All right, so let's check it. I'm going to go on the uh, the middle pickup here, which is between the bridge and the and the neck pickup, and we'll just quickly check the tuning again because it's very important. You can use that other plugin from Waves that I showed you, but this is also uh, there's a tuner inside this as well. If you hit that little tuning peg there. All right, now I'm only using those top two strings, so I just tune those. All right, here we go, ready? Two, three, four. Now the reason I stopped there is because I want to flick to a different pickup for this next part because I'm going to be doing the line. But I think it will sound better on this one. In the mix, and because this is we're going up to a whole you know new level of dynamic, we want it to be even more punchy. So to avoid me making a mistake doing it while I'm playing it and you know not being able to play the perfect amount, I'll just record that first part. And then I'll flick to the right pickup and then we'll drop in to do the second half. So from bear end here. Two, three, four. Remember to keep holding, let it ring it out, because we can always fade it out later. And now we're just going to go in and uh, fade those two audio files together. So here's the one I recorded first, here's the one I recorded second. We're just going to put a little fade there like that. Right, and we're just going to put a fade on the end, and a fade on the start.
Now that, that sounds okay, but it doesn't sound great to me. Like I think we could get a better guitar sound. So the beautiful thing about this is we just open it back up. Uh, we're in styles. We'll try another different classic rock sound. Or you can even just play it in the mix and, and choose different sounds. That seems to be working pretty good. Because we changed the patch, we lost our delay, so we'll just quickly add that back again. It was the twin delay. Uh, we're gonna drop that down, add the sync, change this to quarter notes, and this one to dotted eighths. Listen to the second half. So that's sounding pretty good and, whoops, forgot to label that, so we'll label that guitar two. And typically in a demo, that's all I'll do. I'll do two rhythm tracks left and right and then do a lead track uh, on just one track but a stereo track so you can hear all the stereo effects. Um, and that pretty much does it. The next thing in the process is acoustics and then we'll be ready to go. Hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, email the well at platinumshakes.com. Every week on The World we like to answer questions and okay. you can ask us a question okay. by emailing mm. thewell at planetshakers.com. Yeah. Mm. We have lots of questions here. Do we? Yep. We're just going to answer some of them today. Could people comment on our YouTube thing as well? They can ask questions on there. Yeah, go ahead. But it's better if you write them into The Well. But write them into The Well. <laughs> that's what I look, that's what I read out. Like, but you know what? Just comment and, and write questions on The, on yeah. the Well. We'll, we'll get people nice to check comments, it. Though, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. Give us a thumbs up and say nice comments. <laughs> First question today is from Kai, I believe that's how you spell it, K-E-I. Hi. Uh, how you say it? Kai from the Philippines. I'm going to give him a Filipino. Come on, stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't given the chance to give my question during your stay here in Manila. So here it is. What do you do when you tell the congregation to lift their hands up or maybe tell them to clap their hands or jump for Jesus mm -hmm. and they're not responding or participating? Great question. What do we do? Not get frustrated. That's very true. Yeah. The tendency is when you're worship leading is to, you do want to get frustrated because like, just come on. But, but people don't respond to a frustrated leader. No. Nope. Mm -mm. It pushes them away even further. Yeah. Yes. So we're, we're very careful to keep it smiling, keep it joyful. Yeah. And it's all this encourage, this warm encouragement. Come on, this is the best thing to do. The best way I do it is with scripture. Yeah. Because you, people can't argue with scripture. They can argue mm. with your way of doing things. But when you're saying this is actually in the Bible, Bible right. yeah. this is how we do it. Clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with the voice uh -huh. of Trump. Straight out of the Bible, let's do that right now. And yeah. you know what? People will probably still have attitudes no matter what. Some people, just a bad attitude mm. people. But generally, you're going to get more people involved by using scripture. It's true. Yes. And then focus on all the positives. Like mm -hmm. look at those people to encourage yourself. Look at all the ones that are lifting their hands. That's right. And go, yay, we're getting there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Great. Good. Next question from Christy. Hello, as a part of the Hi. music team in our church, can I ask some tips or suggestions about worship? You sure How can. to fight stage fright. How to fight oh. stage fright. That's a bit of a tongue twister, that. Yeah. How, How to you? fight stage fright. How Great. do you do that? Well, how do you and do that? At that time, you were quite higher. Oh. <laughs> Could that be classed as All I can say stage is, rock? yeah, a bit of a different type of fright. <laughs> but yes, Jesus is the answer. For those who yes. don't know what we're talking about, I think four, maybe five or six years ago, was it? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, maybe seven years ago. Our stage rises at conference were so high. Because you were playing Keys 2, I think. Yeah, I was. And that was like the highest point. It was probably 15 metres off the ground or something. I was so high that on the DVD you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... You could just see your feet in the shot. <laughs> you can just see a pillar when That's I was up there. So awesome. Look, I think one of the things is um, through experience, it just gets easier. It, get, it does get better. Yeah. I remember back in the early days, I used to get stage fright. I don't get it anymore. But um, okay. no, do you? No. What? No. Yeah, for, did, oh, did, I, did I used to? Yeah. Yeah, but like back in the That's day when I was cute. 14 years old, I mean, not stage fright, but you just get nervous, I guess. Of, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I guess yeah. that's what, you, what you're asking, though, the same thing. Yes. Um, but, you know. True. The more you do it, and, and, and understanding you're with a team together, that always helps. You're not yeah. out there by yourself just doing it. Yeah. You've, sure. got, you've got support. And, and the, the great thing is people aren't there to see you. 
That's people right. people there to see Jesus and encounter yeah. God. So it takes the pressure off you having to try and perform or anything like that. Yes, get your focus on why you're there. You're there to worship Jesus. And so you have an audience of one. Yes. His name is Jesus. And he's happy with you. Yeah. Yeah. Next question is from Casey. 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 A blessed day to you, Pastor Joth, Pastor Sam, Pastor BJ. Blessed mm. day If he's too. there, they wrote. But you are here. I'm here. here. You are here with me. Well done. Uh, Casey from the Philippines. What brand of guitar strings do you use on your acoustic and electric guitars? And mm. what gauges do you prefer? Yes. Well, which... Right. Well, mine. <laughs> <laughs> we use Diodario. Well, everyone uses different. I use Diodario strings on the electric. Uh -huh. Gauge what 11s. Are you? I use uh, Elixir on acoustic. Yeah. And... Um, I don't really care about electric strings so much. He always <laughs> borrows someone else's yeah, guitar basically. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> same, same for me, acoustic Alexas. Alexas are the best. They last the I longest. I love Alexas. Yeah. They're coated strings, so they do sound better. They make one specifically for Taylor now. They do? Yeah. That's good. That's nice. amazing. Nice. All right, last question for today is from Lane. Lane. Lane's from the USA, Kansas. How are you doing? Okay. Good. Let me start we say off. how you going. How you going? They how say going? how you doing. How you oh, going? I've learned to say how you doing though because when we go to America, they don't know what I mean by how you going. Oh, really? How you going? They go, I'm going nowhere. I'm right here. Mm. <laughs> how you doing? Let me start off by saying that I adore your music. Thank you. You are Thank certainly you. my favourite band and I listen to your music in my car, church, at home and even when I'm on the farm doing work. Oh, wow. wow. Nice. Wow. Thank Lane you. Lane would like to know uh, this. Born to Praise is vastly different to any other song that I've heard Come okay. from your band. Okay. I love its jazzy gospel sound. What inspired that song and why is it so different? Mm. Great question. Well. We, we didn't actually write that song as a praise song, like that we, we, we would pitch it to be congregational. That's why it sounds so different. We wrote it as an item for Beautiful Woman Conference, which is our beautiful. women's yeah. conference. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And so we wrote it in mind of like a more of a lead vocal singing it. And, um, and, and I guess in our roots of who we are, we do love that gospel, funky, yeah. jazzy kind of sound. Totally. And that, and that always, doesn't always work for us in our style. So when we get the chance to do an item or write mm. a, a number like this, we can really just go for it in that sense. Totally. Yeah, just just like Gotta Give Him Glory on the last album, oh, wow. Overflow album, when Nat Ruiz sings that, that's a lot more gospel Gospels. as well. Mm. Gotta give him glory. <laughs> well, if you have any questions, write them into the well at plantertracks.com and okay. we'll love to hear from you. Yeah. All right. So we love to give you a little bit of advice heading off into this weekend. So we'd love to encourage you this week to really just go for it with great vision. Yes. Get under the vision of your senior pastor, get under the vision of your leaders and then run with that vision, get into agreement with it. And as you do, you are going to see the declared word of God come to pass in your life. So go that, for it. That's great. I would love to encourage everybody to to pray leading up to the Sunday, pray and ask God to give you a specific word for the day. You know, don't just rely upon the pastor or the worship leader to lead everyone, but you should come with a burning uh, word inside you for the mm. day. You know, seek the word of the Lord and seek God for a word. That's my advice. Good Great idea. advice. And I want to encourage you to get your team unified. There's commanded blessing where there's unity, the mm. word says. So unify your team. Yay. Stay tuned because next week we'll be talking about acoustic guitars, recording acoustic guitars on the Well demo yes. series. Yay. Uh, and, and, you know, tell people about the Well. We, we do, the whole reason we do this is to help For people. Sure. So yeah. spread the word and we'd love to hear from you soon. And don't forget, Planet Shakers Conference is coming oh, up. Coming up. You've got yes. to get here. It's going to be amazing. Uh -huh. 20th year anniversary. Wow. Don't want to miss out. Go to planetshakers.com for more details.